Greetings, peace and love. Today we'll be doing a demonstration in regards to the French Yellow Book, France and the European War, full text of diplomatic documents. And this has all to do with the Moorish Empire, the colonization, documents relating to the negotiations which preceded the declaration of war by Germany to Russia, August 1914, and to France, 1914. Now these are documents that are from the French government where they allowed certain parts to be released. So it is going to be skewed. However, we can read between the lines. I read also that there is more than just this yellow book. The French have the yellow book. Not all of these collections of documents are equal value. The German white book particular is singular incomplete. The French yellow book will be found to contain not only the fullest record of the efforts made by the allies to preserve peace. Yeah, right. They're colonizing, though. To preserve peace, what? In between the ones who got their hands in the Moorish Empire cookie jar. Then there's an orange book and gray book. There's white papers, white book, orange book, and gray book. So this manuscript has 228 pages. So I'll go and I'll look up Morocco in the search bar. The German emperor's visit to Tangier on March 31st, 1905. The war must be prepared from a financial point of view. There is much to be done in this direction. The distrust of our financiers must not be aroused, but nevertheless, it will be impossible to hide many things. They need be no worry about the fate of our colonies. The final result in Europe will settle that for them. On the other hand, disturbances must be provided in northern Africa and in Russia. This is a means of absorbing the attention of the forces of the adversary. It is therefore virtually necessary that through well-chosen agents, we should get into contact with influential people in Egypt, Tunis, Algiers, and in Morocco in order to prepare the necessary measures in case of a European war. And that's them trying to fight over the Moorish Empire. These secret allies would, of course, be recognized openly in time of war, and on the conclusion of peace, they would be guaranteed the preservation of the advantages they had won. This desideretta can be realized. A first attempt made a few years ago also as the necessary contact. They should have a guiding head who might be found among influential religions or political chiefs. The Egyptian school is specially suited for this. More and more it gathers together intellects of the Mussulman world. By whatever means we must be strong, so that by the powerful effort we may destroy our enemies in the east and in the west. So that, that lets you know the Moorish Empire was from east to west, or west to east. Because Noble Drali said it was turning, then it turned the other way. The Egyptian school is specially suited for this. More and more it gathers together intellects of the Mussulman world. By whatsoever means, we must be strong so that by a powerful effort, we may destroy our enemies in the east and in the west. And through our studies, who took over Egypt? England did. So you best believe their schools was infiltrated and watered down and all that. Noble Drali was an Egyptian adept and he went through their schools, but it didn't say nothing about them going to these schools. Noble Drali said get a good European education, but that's best to know how to deal with them. Indeed, just like Yehoshua said, he went through every hall of learning and every way through life to best know how to help his brother or help him to understand something he was taught in error. Just like in the Americas, man, all the schools are infiltrated too through the institutions. Best knowing how to jump through hoops. Noble Drali said that too, so that's what this is, man. Teaching them how to jump through hoops and defend it. The resentment felt in every part of the country is the same. All Germans, even socialists, resent our having taken their share in Morocco. You see, their share in Morocco. It ain't your land. You get that only by blood inheritance. Gentlemen, I do not know if I am mistaken, but it appears to me that it is the work of pacific reparation, of liberation, and of dignity, definitely sealed in 1904 and in 1907 with the genial assistance of Edward VII of England and the government of the crown, with the German Empire wishes to destroy today by an audacious coup de force. We went over this before, remember? The Moorish mission was meeting with King Edward VII with the Moorish mission, with the German Empire wishes to destroy today by an audacious coup de force. German 
it's crazy. We was going over all this, and then here comes the mis- the Moorish mission with King Edward the Seventh. We on their asses, on their heels. Germany can reproach us with nothing. I remember we did a reading where France was speaking about the Grand Orient of France was speaking about doing a coup d'état because the coup de force don't work. And that's what they did. They got into the Sultan, the Moor Sultan's throne seat. They was making deals. They said the coup de force doesn't work because people see it. They have to do a coup d'état, which means infiltrating the throne. And it's done like how they said. They'll find one of those bloodlines that'll sell out that's on the throne, whether it's an older brother or a younger brother. They got to have the blood, then they'll find them to sell out. Then the true one that's supposed to be on the throne to get dragged through the mud all through the papers being a pretender, a fanatic, and all this craziness. And that is done through propaganda, through the newspapers, what they call politics. No Drew Ali stated it anyway. He said the greatest weapon you have is your newspaper, putting out the information information shoveling yourself out from the avalanche of lies and that's what i said these platforms are in these days and times a lot of people come on make some almanac and make negative comments and then i go look at their page and they don't even have a video of annex 2 extracts from the blue book relating to the proposals made by the german government to the british government with a view to securing the neutrality of great britain Offers made by Imperial Chancellor to the British Ambassador with a view to securing British neutrality. Promise to respect the territorial integrity of France, but not of her colonies. Intention in regard to Holland and Belgium. Proposal for a general understanding for neutrality between Germany and Great Britain. But all this, how you feel about the Moorish mission going and meeting with the crown, with, with England or King Edward VII, how you feel about them? 1901, he's sitting with his leg crossed and his hand over his heart like Noble Drali, 1901, but apparently it didn't happen right because Noble Drali had to come and redo all of it with his leg crossed in it. That's the same thing that Noble Drali did the Moorish mission in Cuba. We done went over that. However, the Moorish Sultan in 1901, how do you feel about that, man? He was selling out then. He took, they said when he went and took that picture and everything, the picture was with a golden, it had a golden camera and he was taking presents from King Edward VII and McLean and all that with the gold cameras and riding bicycles and all that, man. So they was messing around, man. No Drali had to come and redo it all. He did the leg cross and all of that. The same thing the Moorish mission did, but No Drali did it at Cuba with all of the European powers at the Pan American Conference. It said there was 52 societies from America and 27 nations from North America and South America. There's 27 nations in 1928. I'll leave the link in the description of the full document. But I want to go over this and close out. Occupy Moroccan town. French cabinet decides to send army across border. As a result of the cabinet meeting, it was decided to send French troops to occupy Uja, a frontier town in Morocco, until the Moorish government gives full satisfaction to France for the assassination of Dr. Mucamp. The French demands for reparation. That's what I mean. These European powers would go and colonize. And then when they get murdered, they talk about the Moorish government. Got to give reparations for their colonial troops getting murdered, bro. It's crazy. Just like when they made McLean the head of the Moorish army and he got kidnapped. I don't know. No, Woodrow said the European was helping him. However, a European nation had to help him through peace, not having war over the Moorish Empire trying to get their share as it said. So I'll go ahead and close out. In regards to the yellow book, I think it would be good to get a third party unbiased writing, whether you can find the orange book, the white book, and see what Germany's side of the story was and all that. I leave you in peace and love. The link to this manuscript will be in the description. Also, the Hidden Key Testimony, Episode 2, will be in the description, too. These are demonstrations I'm putting out where you're not getting a notification. You're only going to find it inside of a link. And I already did one. I see it's got like 20 views. So when people watch the video, I had the link in. They also went through the description of the study breakdown of the headings and all that. And honors to you for your due diligence. I leave you in peace and love. Divine honors to Prophet Noble Drew Ali and the Moorish Divine and National Movement of the World. Islamism.